And here we are with another video shooting stuff. Um, as always, thanks for clicking here. If you don't want to hear me run my mouth or don't have time for the whole video, as always, I'll put full time stamps in the description below. So with all the shooting we've been doing lately and uh, the last couple of videos on body armor, we got the idea to kind of have a challenge of who can build a cheaper, more effective plate of armor, lacking better terms, from readily available materials. Basically for my plate, I took about 3 16ths to a quarter inch stack of regular printer paper, held it together with a couple pieces of duct tape, and then from there I used... Uh, Bondo resin with some fiberglass mat to laminate the paper together and also laminate it to a couple of ceramic tiles. The tiles cost like 60 cents maybe at Home Depot and then um, between the middle tile and the front tile I also used a single layer of the stuff I found at an auto parts store. Uh, it's Kevlar and carbon fiber weave. If it's real or not I don't know. It looks like something that you would use for glass work but have a fancier finish. So here's that Kevlar and carbon fiber stuff. I just used the same type of resin because I made too much. Stuck it on there, slapped another tile on there, and then encased the whole thing in duct tape. What's it made out of? Three ceramic tiles. What's inside of it? Uh, paper. Paper? And caulk. Yeah, okay. Kind of went similar route to me. That's good. Yeah, I went, yeah, I went through. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I think it went through clean, too. Ah! <laughs> It was like dead center too. It feels like it didn't fracture out though, so I think the rest of the area is good. I'm trying to see how bad the damage is. It's like a clean punch. Okay. Okay. Now your plate. Oh, bad. But exit wound is gnarly. But still, it's only there. It didn't fracture the rest of it. So we still have potential to stop on the rest, you know. Oh, that God. exit wound is gnarly. I wonder how much it's slowing it down. You good? No, I don't think so. Oh, it stopped it! <laughs> it caught it right there. Yeah, it caught it. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it did, but that's rad. And still, it's centralized to that spot. It didn't fracture the rest of it, so we still have some good hits coming. Dude, and that's only like an inch thick. That's three ceramic tiles and some weave and some resin. My shit better. It was like 20 bucks, maybe. I'm stand it back up. Okay, let's do that one now. Good. It actually knocked yours over this time. That's a good sign. Good thing. <laughs> yes! Clean. Not even a bulge. Oh, nice. There's a little bit of a fracture, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, apocalyptic armor for under $20 a plate. Both stopped 22 mag. That's what that is, right? 22 mag? Wow. Oh, okay. And you're good. Yeah, that was a hit. <laughs> oh, that stopped. Oh, man. It stopped it quick, too. Like, like that's the there's jacket. no mark on the back. Where'd it go? There it is. That's sweet. It stopped it on the first plate, it seems like. Yeah, that's the jacket. We're, the core's probably halfway, but it didn't even break the back. The no, back it stops right doesn't there. have a mark. 
So that means the first layer of ceramic tile that was 60 cents stopped it. That's that's crazy. Let's do yours now. Yours is a lot thicker than mine. Mine's And you're good. And this is just I'm not sure. I can't tell if it just ripped it from some pressure. Cause that's 308. Yeah, I can't tell if it just ripped. I think it didn't come through. I think it just tore like the backside of uh, some of the actual armor plates we I'll shot. Try over here. You wanna do it again? Yeah, I'll shoot it over there just to make sure. It stopped. Yeah, it stopped it. We in? Bulged this. Yeah, shit, it though. stopped it, but. Dude, yours is so heavy. <laughs> uh, what next? The bottom, oh. middle. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Clean. Yeah. Rip. Uh, well, there it is. We good? Yep. I think that went through. I saw a little dust plume behind it. Over here. Yeah. Huh. The exit wound on mine was a lot more that gnarly. Straight up hole. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still surprised it's not fracturing out like through the entirety of the plate. But I guess it's probably not transferring that much energy because it's coming straight out. Okay, we're on. That was a stop. Or not a stop, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry huh? Dang! There's... We're losing pieces. Where is it? Right there. Yeah. Uh oh. And that was already a weak spot. Yeah. But 5.56 five, broke through like legit steel armor. Yeah. So I'm not surprised it's breaking through some homemade stuff. Good? Yeah. Ooh, that's a fresh spot too. Is that a break? Or is that an old one? That's a break. Oh, yeah. Five, five, six defeats. First mine first. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? That's no. That's none. I'm put it on top right here again. This I'm gonna try is, and hit it. I'm this is 308, that's 22 here. 357. We know that broke through because it's already a weak spot. Yeah. Try down here. Yeah. I'm gonna flip it. That worked. Okay. Oh man, it stopped it. Nice. Whoa. So that means in theory, it would stop a 308 subsonic because they have about the same amount of energy and same speed. I think 357 is a little faster actually. Oh, I hit way outside. Oh yeah, that's, that's going through. Yeah. Yeah, that went through because there's nothing on this. You want me to hit it again or no? Yeah. Okay, on the big O. Okay. Mm. It's still smoking. <laughs> oh, that's right on top of the 308. I don't know. It might have stopped that. I think it did. Because there's no secondary, secondary cavity right here. You want to call that one maybe a stop? We're here. I think it came out of the exit hole. Oh, uh, can we do it again? Yes. Went F. That should work. It's still smoking. It stopped it! <laughs> Whoa! Now we're happy. <laughs> That's crazy. No, we're getting really limited on real estate though for new hits. Well, we, we only got one or two guns left. We're like, no, don't shoot me no more. <laughs> These are different than the usual ones. These are uh, ballistic tipped. 67 bucks for a box of 20. <laughs> Shooting this gun feels like bankruptcy. You good? Yeah. <coughs> or is that it? I think that's it. It definitely broke through. Yeah, broke through. Smells like resin. Go on the uh, big O.
<laughs> yeah, it stopped it. Yeah. <laughs> now, it obliterated. It's still smoking. Jesus. Still going. Okay. <laughs> Clean through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Did that stop? <laughs> the back is obliterated. <laughs> we'll cut him up. Sure. Video thing? Yeah. I mean, I don't necessarily need to cut mine up because I got a video of it getting put together. So at least we can see what yours was made of. So let's just stuck together with that caulking stuff. Yeah. Huh. Well, there's a round. Oh. That's crazy. They mushrooms like they're supposed to. That's the fiber tape shit. Yeah. It held it together like I wanted. Except for here. I mean, the paper is a little more effective than I thought it was gonna be. I only had maybe 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch of paper in the middle of mine. I found some carbon fiber and Kevlar weave at AutoZone. <laughs> so it was in the front of mine. You can cut it up and see it if you want. <laughs> it performed about the same as that soft armor we did out there, but this is, would be a lot more uncomfortable. But I mean, if you were using stuff like this, you wouldn't be wearing it on your body. It would be like in your windows for a bunker or a barricade. But I think sandbags are a little more cost effective uh, easier to make and they stop a plethora of bullets. That's why the military uses them for fighting positions. That ceramic tile is obliterated. Look at that's kind of cool, man. Like that's a stop. Yeah. That's it made like a cavity. That's kind of crazy. So there's my paper. There's the Kevlar and carbon fiber. Look at this one. It stopped at first first layer. That's uh -huh. nine mil. I think that might be twenty two, huh? Uh, that's too big for twenty two. Cause look at the. Oh yeah, that's probably nine. I think. But, yeah, that glass is hard, but it's still sticky. Ooh, okay. Initially, I didn't really think either plate was going to perform very well. So not only having it stop pistol rounds, but having it stop multiple rounds was pretty cool. We had a bunch of fun making this video. Um, we got some ideas kicking around for future ones. Uh, but as always, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.